The Servant Who Loved His Prayers At dawn, a certain rich man wanted to go to the steam baths. He woke his servant, Sankur. Ho! Get moving! Get the basin and the towels and the clay for washing and let's go to the baths. Sankur immediately collected what was needed, and they set out side by side along the road. As they passed the mosque, the call to prayer sounded. Sankur loved his five times prayer. Please, master, rest on this bench for a while, that I may recite Surah 98, which begins, You who treat your slave with kindness. The master sat on the bench outside while Sankur went in. When prayers were over and the priest and all the worshippers had left, still Sankur remained inside. The master waited and waited. Finally he yelled into the mosque, Sankur, why don't you come out? I can't. This clever one won't let me. Have a little more patience. I hear you out there. Seven times the master waited and then shouted. Sankur's reply was always the same. Not yet. He won't let me come out yet. But there's no one in there but you. Everyone else has left. Who makes you sit still so long? The one who keeps me in here is the one who keeps you out there. The same who will not let you in will not let me out. The ocean will not allow its fish out of itself, nor does it let land animals in where the subtle and delicate fish move. The land creatures lumber along the ground. No cleverness can change this. There's only one opener for the lock of these matters. Forget your figuring. Forget yourself. Listen to your friend. When you become totally obedient to that one, you'll be free.